Hey guys, before the video starts, just wanted to let you know that if you use the discount code 2019LUKEC on Truckfest's website, you will get 15% off your tickets. Uh, and I am going to the Peterborough show on the 5th and 6th of May and the Shepton Mallet show on the 31st of August and the 1st of September. So go to www.truckfest.co.uk, book your tickets, use my name, get 15% off. See you there. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it is currently half past seven in the morning. We are in Chestersfield, um, which is sort of more north, more northern than where I normally go. Trucker Jay's territory, actually. So, um, might see him later, you never know. But uh, yeah, no, we're in Chesterfield. We are currently getting loaded with some steel beams. We've been, we bought an empty container up from Southampton. Uh, it took, took us about four hours to get here. Um, we were on the road since four this morning. Um, I started at Newbury. Um, but yeah, no, my trailer is currently over there. You can't see it at the moment because my GoPro is charging. I'm unhitched uh, and my trailer is getting loaded over there. And it's getting loaded with steel from above. It's going in through the top of the container. Um, the guys actually aren't here yet. The trailer's ready to go. I'm just waiting for the guys to turn up and start loading it. And I am going to do some sort of time-lapse video as well. So keep an eye out for that. I just need to set it up. The GoPro is on charge, like I said, but um, I'm going to put this into my Hella socket down by the passenger seat and then use the same mount that my GoPro sits on for the dash over there on the passenger window. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to film it from the passenger window. I think. It might be at a slight angle. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, but uh, yeah, that's that's enough talking for me. Do have some stuff to tell you guys later on in the video, so just do stay tuned. Um, but for now, watch watch the time lapse of the trailer being loaded, and I'll see you in a little bit. Right, we are loaded, but we are not ready to go. We need to get weighed. Uh, I'm out of breath because uh, I've just been running around the trailer. Um, we got weighed on the way in. Can't remember what I was now, but they wrote it down. It's on their system of how much I weighed before I was loaded. Now I need to get re-weighed and just make sure I'm not overweight. I didn't like what they said. Uh, last time I was here, they sealed it up, no problem. This time they're saying, oh, we're waiting until you get weighed first. Make sure you're not overweight. So I've got a funny feeling I might be overweight. They said if I am, they'll open up the back doors and just take a crate off. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. we just got to go around this corner, get weighed. And then, uh, then we can make our way back out again. Let's see what it says. You won't be able to see what it says because it's outside the driver's window. Let's get all the axles on. Ah, right, that's fine. 42, 42, 260, 240, 260. It's fluttering around. So that's good. Right, let's go get the paperwork. Right, we're all weighed, paperwork is done. Someone's just putting a seal on the back now. He's gonna give me a thumbs up when it's on. We weigh 42, 240 at the moment. I don't know whether that's weighing the guy at the back or not. Ugh. As soon as he gives me the thumbs up, I'll crack on. Excellent. All right, we're good to go. Ooh. 
Right. We're off. So we got like it's like steel girders. There's all this stuff that you can see. It's like a load of steel girders and bits and bobs. No idea where it's going. Um, I believe I'm taking this down to Southampton. I need to make a phone call in a sec, just double check. 99% um, sure they said Southampton, but either way, we've got to go south. So, M1 south, make a phone call in a bit. Um, and hopefully, well, we will hopefully get this off today and reloaded for whatever we're doing tomorrow. Whatever that may be. I've been away, I've been um, out since Monday. I've not been home yet. So I wouldn't mind getting home. But um, you never know in this game where you're going, what you're doing, if you're on a night out or anything like that. Just never know. Personally, I don't really enjoy the container work that much, I've said before, but I just don't really enjoy the container work. It's very long hours and it's not the hours that like really annoy me, it's the waiting around, it's the boring stuff. So, like I said, I was here for two hours, it's not the end of the world, but it's two hours just sat around doing nothing. Um, last time I was here, I was here for five hours. I don't mind the driving side, like it's a four hour drive back down to Southampton. Um, I don't mind that at all. I'd rather be doing the driving. I just said to, uh, to someone on Facebook, and um, they were like, oh, but waiting around, surely that's good, just waiting around. And I was like, well, no, I'd rather get on and drive, because the more I drive, the sooner I drive, uh, the sooner my driving time runs out, and then the sooner I can park up. Remember, I can only do nine hours driving a day, unless you extend it to 10. So, um, you know, based, based on that, by the time you get up here and back down again, you've not got long left. In fact, before I continue, I do just want to do a printout just to see how much driving time I have currently done so I can work out on my head how much I've got left by the time I get to Southampton. Normally I'd have done a printout already, but I just quickly do one now. You've got to stop to be able to do it. I'm pretty sure it took three hours to get here. Yeah, it did take three hours to get here, so I should be on just over three hours, but I like to work it out. It's going to take four hours to get back, so it should be, by the time I get down to Southampton Dock, it should be on about seven hours, so it should give me two hours left in a nine hour drive, three hours in a ten hour drive. So I might use a ten hour drive, depends on where I've got to go. Just want to very quickly work it out. So yeah, we've done three nines, so one would be ten, 50 would be 60, which is with MB4. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got five hours, fifty-one minutes left to be precise. Five hours, fifty-one. Um, yeah, I was gonna take away the five that I've just done, but there's no point because that will reset. I need to have a break by the time I get down to Southampton anyway. So four hours down to Southampton should leave me with about um, an, an hour and fifty minutes, maybe two hours. Like I said, so yeah, we're doing another printout when we're down to Southampton, just to double confirm the times. But yeah, uh, at the moment I can get down to Southampton and drive for at least an hour. That's all that matters at the moment. So let's get a crack a lack in. Uh, let's get some miles under the belt. I'll see you in a bit later. But you can't make him drink. And you can show the masses. The whole reveal But you can't make them think Are we blind? Are we deaf and dumb? Is this fear Really what we'll become? I believe With all of my heart That we're better Okay, something's going on. The motorway is closed. It's on the M3 right now. Uh, we're going southbound towards Southampton. And the motorway seems to be closed northbound. A crash. Oh yeah, there's a car backwards there. Uh, and there's a motorcycle down here that stopped the traffic. It looks like he's speeding it up. I'm not sure if he's sped it up or not. Hmm. 
someone's had a, a bit of an accident. Uh, looks like a motorcyclist has uh, come off his bike. And there's a car spun around as well, so it does not look good. There's someone laying on the floor. Hopefully they're all okay. Paramedics was with them. Hopefully they will recover. But yeah, um, we've got to get half an hour break in down the dock, so um, hopefully this is all cleared, but it's looking like it might not be. Got a car dawdling in lane one. However, I'm quite heavy, so I'm going to be now going slow in lane two. We get on over. Anyway, I need to speak to you guys about uh, a couple of things that are happening uh, within the near future. So, firstly, I would like to thank DAF, uh, the truck company, for uh, nominating me, recommending me as a top uh, YouTube channel to watch in 2019. So they listed me second on their list. So um, yeah, it's quite nice to get the uh, the nomination to be a recommended vlogger to watch in 2019. So that's nice. And also, um, I have received uh, an invitation from Truckfest to have, to attend uh, Truckfest again this year uh, with a twist. So last year we attended um, Truckfest at Shepton Mallet. I have been once again invited to Shepton Mallet again this year which is the, I think it's the 31st of September and the 1st of August. So uh, I will be attending Chapter Mallet again this year, but that's ages away. But they've also invited me to Peterborough as well, uh, which is on the, I think the 5th and 6th of May, which is just in a few, uh, a few months time, three months. So uh, yeah, I've never been to Peterborough Truck Show before, Truck Fest. Uh, apparently it's the biggest one. Lots of people go there. Uh, and I will be attending as well. Not only will I be attending, but uh, Trucker J in the UK will also be attending and Kev T as well. All three of us have been invited, the same as last year. Um, it's a shame that uh, Scott isn't going, um, but you know we can't we can't dictate who goes and who doesn't go. It's up to them ultimately who they invite. So it's a shame that Scott isn't going. Oh, there's another accident there. Um, but we see, Trukajenko uh, is also going as um, as a person driving a truck. I mean, he hasn't officially been invited by Truckfest like me, Kev, and Jay. But Trukajenko will be there as well, and he's also asked for another shout out. So shout out to Trukajenko. Link in the description below. He is uh, he is a new and upcoming vlogger. He's only been on the scene half a year or so. He's got a good couple of thousand subs already. I like him. Uh, the rest of the road legends like him, Jay, Scott, Kev, we all like him. Uh, and we're really looking forward to meeting him as well, actually, at Truck Fest. Um, so it would be nice to see him there. He's going to uh, go to the Peterborough one and the Shepton Mallet one as well. So you'll see him there. And I believe Scott will be attending the Shepton Mallet one, but he isn't going to Peterborough. And this van is going to want to come out. But I can't slow down when I'm fully loaded as I want to get out of this hill. So yeah, a couple of, uh, couple of cool things that are happening there. So yeah, I need to get on uh, and get some cards made out, business cards, some stickers, uh, a couple of new banners as well. So that's what I will be doing. We are 14 miles away from Southampton Docks, about 20 minutes. We've got to take this container off at Pentalva. Uh, it's a loaded container, obviously, but we got loaded earlier. And then, uh, I've got to let the guys know that it's off. They give me then a VBS number to get another container put back on. And apparently it's going up to Gloucester, which is not part, far from where I live. So hopefully I'll be home tonight. I've not been home since Monday morning. It's Wednesday today. Loads of blue lights going that way. I've got a funny feeling I might have to find another way home. <laughs> um, we also need to get fuel as well. Um, I was hoping to get fuel on the A34, but if that traffic is still there, it might cause a bit of mayhem. See, we'll see. If I really wanted to, I could go home via Salisbury, A303. We'll see. We'll see how busy that is later when we actually leave. We're going to be at the docks for at least an hour or so, so it might all be clear. Anyway, let's crack on. Uh, I'll see you when we get close to the docks. Okay, situation report. Container is off. Uh, we got it off at Pentalva Docks. Uh, Pentalva within Southampton Docks. It come off quite quickly, so that's good. Happy about that. Let me just turn my indicators off. Um, 
yeah, I was in and out within like five, ten minutes, which is well, spot on. Uh, we ran out of driving time, almost. We were on four hours and ten minutes. Um, and I already had a 15 earlier, so I've got to get a half an hour break in now before I carry on. Um, but I don't actually have a job come through yet anyway, so I've got to wait for a job to come through. Uh, <laughs> he actually said on the phone, yeah, we'll get you in as soon as we can, which don't sound good to me. Normally I get given a time. Yeah, we'll give you a two to three time slot or whatever. And he said, um, yeah, we'll get you in whenever we can. So, no idea how long I'm going to be here for. Um, but like I said, I need to get a half an hour break in anyway. Best case scenario, it's five to two currently. So if he gives me a two to three time slot, um, I won't be moving anyway until 25 past two, which is fine. And I'm just around the corner from where you check in. So um, I'm hoping for a two to three time slot and um, I'll check in around about half past two. That's what I'm hoping, uh, and then hopefully it gets put on and we crack on back up to um, Swindon. We've got to stop at Tot Hill Services and get some fuel because we're just above the zero now. And I'm uh, I'm hoping we can get, we should be able to get there. I've done, travelled further and less. But um, yeah, I'm hoping to get up there, fill up with fuel. Uh, it's cheaper there than it is on the um, on the motorway. Might even stop at the services just before Tot Hill actually. Yeah, probably do that just to be safe. Um, and the traffic that we passed, there's currently a six and a half minute delay. It's not too bad considering it was 20 minutes earlier when I first put it in. Um, it is tell telling me there's a diversion that I can take to save five minutes. But I'm hoping that by the time we do leave here, I'm going to be here at least an hour. Um, I'm hoping it'll all be cleared up. That's the plan. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to sit around now for half an hour, chill out. Um, Play on my phone, have a drink, and uh, yeah, we'll see you when, uh, when we know what we're doing. At last, we are loaded. Let's get out of here. Ah, uh, yeah, we're finally loaded. Ah, uh, so we're... <laughs> We um, got a three, yeah, three to four times lot is what we got in the end. So even though my break finished at uh, well, before half past two, um, I had to wait then until three o'clock before I could even get in. And it's now nearly four o'clock. So I've been here pretty much since two o'clock and now it's four o'clock, so that's two hours. So I've been here for two hours, not ideal. Now I just want to get out of here, do you know what I mean? Containers on, seal is correct, twist locks are locked, and I want to get out of here. We've got to get fuel yet as well. Is he just going to pull out? Looks like it. He's my right away, he's on the stop line. Let's just put in our registration one more time so we can actually get out. Nope, don't want to see the top of the container, thank you very much. Let's go. Like I said, we still still need to get fuel yet as well. Um, we, I'm not going to be back in the yard until gone 6 o'clock tonight, I think. And I was hoping to be back before half past five so I can pick up my daughter from uh, Rainbows, but I'm not going to have a chance to do that now. Never mind, come on. Today, it's been alright today, like, this morning was fine. Got uh, loaded quite quickly, come down quite quickly. It's just the fact that I had to wait two hours before getting out of here, which has messed up a little bit. But that traffic is all cleared up now. That's good. No traffic according to the sat nav, but of course it is four o'clock, so um, traffic will start building up soon, especially around five o'clock. I'm hoping to be on the road by five o'clock once I've filled up as well. Come on then, no one wants to let anyone out. It's almost an unwritten like rule where <laughs> if a truck's waiting to get out, a truck would flash them out. Doesn't seem to be happening. No one, no one seems to want to let anyone out. 
which is selfish because everyone's been waiting everyone's in a queue I always let someone out if I can selfish behaviour all this is never mind they don't have to give way of course it's a stop for us we have to give way to them but it's just almost a rule whereby if a truck's waiting to get out a truck would let them out let's see if anyone lets me out one, two, three. Not letting me out. Now there's a couple of cars and one more truck. Will he let me out? No, he's not letting me out either. But a truck has flashed the truck out of the um, empty bays, empty park one and two. So I can get out now. Right, let's crack on. <laughs> This is a heavy container as well, it's 29 tonne. So I'm um, going to use a bit of fuel getting out. Oh wait, you let him out look. I mean, it's like a rule, you just let trucks out, but no one seems to want to let anyone out of there. Anyway, let's crack on, let's go get some fuel. Right, let's get some fuel. We are literally on the zero. I'm rather hoping that um, there's no one else trying to get fuel. Where do I go? Looks like I go left for fuel. HGV left. Oh, look at that, look, there's a pump for eight. That's what I want to see. Oh, it rhymed. Oh, I didn't even know it. Uh, please don't say I've got to go in the shop to uh, show a card. I don't like the next show. So hopefully I don't have to hear. Pump 10, thank you very much. All right, let's go get some fuel. Right, we're done. Slowest pumps in the world, 12 minutes that took to put 500 quid in. 12 minutes, never mind. Uh, my GoPro on the dash cam is running out of battery. I do have it on charge, but it is on literally 1%, so it might die. I'm not entirely sure if it's actually charging, but uh, never mind. If it dies, it dies. There's a speed bump here. I've never actually been in these services, so it's good to know where you park. Doesn't look like an awful lot of room. Someone's hit that line, didn't they? All right, let's get back on the A34 and crack on. Uh, in terms of driving time, we're on 44 minutes right now. I can only drive for one more hour. Um, in which case I run out of driving time and we're an hour and 10 minutes away so I am going to go over my driving time by 10 minutes which means I am going to go into a 10 hour drive which is legal, you can do that twice a week um, obviously you can only drive 9 hours a week extended to 10 hours a week twice, uh, 10 hours a day, twice a week, that's it so we will, we will be using a 10 hour drive more than likely we're also going to get caught in traffic at some point I'm hoping to be on the M4 by 5 but it's only 18 minutes away so that might be pushing it we might still be on the A34 come 5 o'clock at night it's obviously getting dark as you can see so uh, I'm not going to be able to do much more vlogging with the internal camera um, but I'll keep the external one going still on 1% so it might die we'll see um, but yeah no, I'll see you uh, when we get a little bit closer to the yard We are in the yard. Just gonna take my card out. Du -du -du. Yes. 
it's uh, five to six. Do do do. We started at five to four, which means we've done 12, 30, 14 hours, which means it's more than 13 hours, which means it's an automatic nine hour reduced rest. Let's put the miners down three, five, four, two, nine, four. I'm shaking because we really need to go to the toilet. <laughs> I don't need a printout, what have I done printout for? Never mind. Da, da, da. Exit, finish. Right, um, yeah, so we are done. Paperwork's done, lights off, that up, that glasses can go there. Um, that's some crisps that I was eating earlier. It's actually just mainly rubbish in there. And uh, yeah make sure my card's out before I leave because I accidentally left it in the other day there we go done we're done thank you very much for watching this video I do appreciate it I really need to go to the toilet so I gotta go uh thank you very much for watching uh drive safe until next time I'll see you soon bye bye